Welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am doing a restock of rice flour and shea. I did make this not too long ago, but it was the first to sell out at my show and I needed to restock it because I have someone who wants to order some. And I'm going to use the same color palette that I used the last time, which is yellow, purple, green, and white. Uh, what I am doing differently is I am using as you can see it's a larger batch but I'm using three of my 10 bar molds and I had talked about um, in another video because I've been asked so often about gelling my soaps if I do if I don't what the difference is and I talked about maybe doing an experiment so that we all could kind of see together this might be more geared toward other soap makers who are interested in this um, or if you're just curious as to how it works um, when you gel your soaps, you they heat up in temperature, and generally the color colors are brighter. This is what what I've read, and I've never done anything to my soap. I've always just made it and let it sit, and let it do whatever it wants to do. But I have three of these loaves, so one of them I'm going to insulate with. I'll put it in a box and cover it with a towel which will force gel, meaning it will gel no matter what. The second thing, I'm just going to leave it sitting out like I normally do. And the third loaf I'm going to put in the refrigerator right after I make it. So when I cut them tomorrow, we can see what the difference in the color is, what the difference in the texture is, so that we can just have a hands-on exper experiment to find out uh, how temperature affects the outcome of the soap. So it's all going to be scented the same. It's all going to be the same colors. I'm just doing it in the three molds. I'm going to do one, I'm going to swirl one with a hanger, one with a spoon, and one with a chopstick. And then I will pipe on the top. Um, I haven't decided exactly sh what I'm going to pipe, how I'm going to pipe on the top, but I will figure that out when I get to that point. So right now I already have my clay and everything mixed up good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my lye solution. My lye solution does have a tiny bit of lilin in it, but I am not worried about it. It's little tiny pieces and it's not very many. And I know my bucket's going to be pretty full. I don't want to overmix it, but the thing is, is when you were doing large batches like this, uh, that's a it's hard to get it. So you're you're not overmixing it, but you are mixing it enough. Where when you're doing a small batch, you can see where it blends like immediately and the color changes. It's it's not as easy when you're dealing with large batches. this good for now just because I'm going to be blending it more with the colors and rice flour and shea at times rices a little bit so I'll have to stick blend that out and I'm okay with it thickening up a little bit it's not a big deal let's see if I can pour this without dumping it so my base color is going to be yellow and I'm not sure how much of these colors I'm going to pour off. I will see. I, mean, I want enough for the to pipe the colors on the top. Uh, last time I did the Russian piping, the spiral piping tips, which I really liked. So I may do that, but with a different tip than I used last time, just to see if the flower looks any different. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Okay, so I think that's good for my colors. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more to this one. And, yeah, I'll call that good. So I get asked a lot, and I think I've stated it in other videos, but I'll say it. Um, I get asked a lot what temperature... My thing! <gasps> what? 
that has never happened before. I've used these spatulas since the beginning of time, since I've start. Oh my word. <laughs> I probably won't edit this out because it's kind of a funny thing. And it's slippery, so I can't grab it. Alright, let me just clean my hand off. I forget what I was going to say. Oh, what temperature I soap at. Um, I generally mix up my soap. Um, geez, it can be anywhere from a few hours to a few days before I make it. So, it's, it's room temperature. And this is shimmering, shimmering yellow which I just love. Um, so it's room temperature. Now in my, everybody's room temperature is different, obviously based on where you live. My room temperature is about 72 degrees. That's kind of what we keep our house at year round, either air or heat. Heat sometimes a little lower because I don't, I'd rather be chilly than hot. Okay, green. And the last one is purple. So my, that's my room temperature. Um, sometimes I, if the, the oils have sat for a couple of days, I will throw them in the microwave for a minute and just kind of warm them up, loosen them up. Um, it makes it a little bit more fluid. If you soap really high, I find that it, it sets, you know, it speeds up trace a lot quicker or if you soap really really low it does the same thing so I feel like there's kind of like a like a sweet spot around 75 to 85 degrees I would say is what I like to soap at okay this is the white Jeez, I haven't soaped in a couple weeks so I don't know if things are gonna go right or what definitely could not get wait to get back to soaping which was good because for a little bit there I was feeling like you know didn't really have the ambition to do it and I was kind of like what's going on this is a little brighter yellow than I want so I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of titanium dioxide to it that was probably a little too much but I want it to be more of a pale yellow. I kind of want a little lighter, but I'm not going to, I don't want to keep stick blending, so we're going to go with it. This is already thickening up a little bit for some reason. Love that green. So I had my holiday show, the one I was getting ready for, for what seemed like forever. So that's done and over with. I'm so happy. I love doing it. I get to spend the time with my husband because he takes off of work to help me. And we don't we don't get to spend as much time together as we would like. So we always have just the funnest time. And... I entered the raffle, which I said to the lady, I'll enter the raffle, because she asked, I said, I just, I don't ever win anything. And I, my name was drawn twice in the raffle, and what it was, was the other vendors donated items to the raffle. So I got to go up and pick out on a table out of all these uh, crafts and beautiful things what I wanted. And the first thing I picked was, hopefully I won't have to stick blend these again. Hopefully they won't rice. See, you can already see the consistency changing. And it's definitely rising. So I'm just going to pour the fragrance in each of them and give them a quick stick blend. So I picked a beautiful handcrafted bowl. 
something I will have forever. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then my name was drawn again the next day, and I picked another wood thing. It's uh, like a pet dish that sits up higher off the ground. to pipe these. I've cut them in the same order as how I swirled them so I can remember. I want to remember because I want to compare the swirls also. I went ahead and put a little bit more yellow on the top of each of them just because I had saved out too much and I had to end up putting two colors in one bag and two colors in the other bag because there was too much of the piping. So I'm going to use this tip. It doesn't have a number or anything on it but it's kind of a jaggedy end to it and then for the yellow and green which I have a little bit less of this one is just kind of um it's similar to the one I used the last time but it's not swirled it's straight so I'm just going to kind of go back and forth with the two I saved out a little bit of purple to kind of dial up in the center of the flower and I had a lot of green too so I went ahead and put it in its own bag with a tip 366 will in a large leaf tip and I can just add some leaves so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this this definitely has thickened on me um, so hopefully it'll work see this is the part taking it off it's a little bit challenging oh, uh, oh I don't know about this and this bag is super full
finished. Uh, the piping didn't go as I thought as good as I thought it would. Um, I'm not a fan of those two spherical tips. I really like the very first one that I used um, the last time I made this soap. Um, I'm keeping them. I've tried to keep them in order so that I know which one is which. And one is going to go in the refrigerator. I'm going to insulate this one, and this one's just going to sit out. So I will be back tomorrow to show you. Um, the results of our experiment. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I am back the next day to let you guys know about my experiment. Now, there is definitely color differences in, in these soaps depending on how um, they heat it up, but I'm hoping that the camera picks up the color differences. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit on, let's see, the first two up here. This particular one was put into the refrigerator and you can clearly see that on the top the, the green is different than the ones that were insulated or went through gel phase and the yellow is definitely paler. Um, so I'm anxious to cut into it and see the difference inside. Now these two, this one was left in open air and this one was insulated. When I say insulated, I mean I put it into a box, just a priority mailbox. It fit perfectly. I slid it down in and I wrapped it around with a towel. And the green on this and the yellow is definitely more vivid than the one that was put into the refrigerator. The one that I just left sitting out is pretty close to the same color as the one I insulated. The one I insulated it does have a little bit, I guess uh, the green mostly shows to be a little bit different shade um, and the yellow is tiny bit brighter, but these two are very similar. The one that's very different is the one that went into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna cut that one first. I had to make notes and everything so that I would remember which one was which. But this particular one, I did the chopstick swirl. And this is the one that went into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna hold it up close so you can see the green. It's more of a, a, a olive -y green as opposed to a bright green. So I'm just gonna cut a couple bars and then I'll move on to the next one just so the video isn't too long. Oh, so pretty. The swirl is really pretty. This was the chopstick swirl. And the colors are really pale and really pretty. Um, I will note that this was the easiest one to come out of the mold. I put it into the refrigerator right after I shut the camera off. I didn't do anything to it. I just set it in there and took it out about an hour before I unmolded it, but this one came out of the mold the easiest. I'm loving that swirl. So I will move on and cut. The next one is the one that was, was just left out, which is what I normally do. I just leave it sitting here on my soap table at room temperature. I don't have the fan or anything like that on. And you can see that the purple, the green, everything is more vivid in this one. And I will compare it. So this is the one from the refrigerator. This is the one that just sat out. I'm trying so hard to keep these straight. It's a little confusing. They all smell amazing. Not, you know, none of them seems to have a stronger fragrance or anything like that. Okay, so oh, this swirl was the hanger swirl, by the way. So this one was the hanger. Okay, I'm gonna set this one over here. Now this last one was the one that I put in the box and insulated. And the green on this one is 
seems to be more vivid than the others for sure. This one was the spoon swirl. You can see how bright the yellow is. Now let me compare it to, this is the one from the refrigerator. And this is the insulated one. And now let me see if I can hold all three. Okay, you can see that this one, the refrigerator one, has a lot more muted colors, a lot more pale. Then this is the one I left out and then this is one insulated. So there is a slight difference between these two here. The, the yellow in this I can see is a little brighter. The green seems a little brighter. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a very interesting experiment and now we all kind of know how temperature affects the outcome of the soap, the colors, all that good stuff. The uh, one that I left out on the counter was more difficult to unmold. I mean they come out easy because they're in these silicone molds but when I say difficult it was um, you know a little more tacky and the one that was insulated came out pretty well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this answers some questions um, that you guys have sometimes about gelling and what the differences are. Um, but I will catch you all on my next video.